Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a drop shadow. In this user interface, I want to add a floating appearance to this card, which has a white background with a thin stroke. With that object selected, go to Effect, Stylize, Drop Shadow. I'm going to keep the mode on Multiply, and we want a very faint opacity, something like 10%. For the X and Y axis, if we wanted this completely centered, we could change these to zero, or we can give it a little bit of an offset to appear as if there's a directional light. For the blur, if we go all the way down to zero, we will get a hard edge. I want something very subtle and floating, so I'm going to do something like 25 pixels and we have a very soft glow. Now I'm going to click OK and if you need to edit your drop shadow later you can go to your appearance panel, window appearance, and right here you can click on that effect to edit again. If you need to turn it off you can use the eyeball or if you need to delete it completely just click the trash can. If you're really happy with this graphic style, you can save it as a graphic style to use on other objects. If you go to Window, Graphic Styles, which I have open here, with the object selected with the drop shadow, click the plus sign. And if you need to edit the name, you can give it a name depending on what view you're in. Thumbnail View versus List. And now if we create another object, we can apply the graphic style and use it throughout. The graphic style does keep the stroke, so if you didn't like the stroke, you could remove the stroke here and add that as a new graphic style. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if this video helped you out, please like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching.